there's no real opportunity uh, on a serve um, for for the uh, opposition to to get uh, to pick that point up. Now, third straight match has started with an ace. Exactly. We saw that from Ivo Karlovic, who started it with two. Feliciano Lopez started with one. And now we have Grigor Dimitrov. Um, yeah, what I was getting at is that yeah. look, if you have a let court on the serve, um, it doesn't really give the receiving player an, uh, much of an opportunity. So somebody can s uh, argue, well, what difference if it's in the middle of a point? Well, the difference is, is that play is in motion. The both players, in theory, are on the move. So there's an opportunity for the player who's on the receiving end of that let court to actually get to it, whereas it's not the same if it's, if it's off a serve. Yeah, I'm really you know, time factor, it doesn't save anything by eliminating it. If anything, you might add to the time because somebody's so shocked and annoyed that it's happened, they're gonna stand and stare. <laughs> so while we're having the Gabriel gripe, Grigor isn't griping, he's getting on with business. He's got it under, gri uh, got it under grips. So Dimitro uh, comes uh, first game uh, of the match, but the crowds have certainly taken to Grigor. They're really enjoying him, watching him play, and his personality, his looks, the way he handles himself. He's got a very warm reception walking on onto court. Popular player. I think for the, the casual fan as well, seeing the traditional one-handed backhand that we also saw earlier a left-handed version of that for Feliciano Lopez, but uh, it's enjoying something of a renaissance, the one-handed backhand, and aesthetically, it's always very pleasing and harks back to uh, tennis of 20, 30, 40 years ago. Just noticed a couple of things with Grigor. I'm just yeah. wondering wondering if he's, a if he's a little bit superstitious. It looked like he deliberately avoided stepping on the lines when he went back for this game. And then he took the, his towel from one ball boy and gave it to the one on the other side of, of the, uh, the baseline. A tennis play with rituals. Yeah. Whatever next. Yeah, they're not superstitions, they're rituals. It's not pressure that Serena faced in the US Open. She doesn't suffer from pressure. certainly hitting the ball with gusto missed time that last one there going into the net Dimitrov content to wait it out at the moment it's quite chunky in build isn't he Becca Forced errors on either side as the players look to get into their rhythm.
match hasn't really come to life yet. No, it's still pretty early. fires that one into the corner on the backhand side wow. of Dimitrov. Yeah, it's interesting. I was just saying about Becker, you know, that, that I, I, I think that he's quite chunky uh, in build. But it's actually uh, D Dimitrov who's the heavier of the two by eight kilos. By eight kilos? Yeah, Good. I mean, they've got um, Becker at 72 kilos and Dimitrov at 80. You wouldn't put Dimitrov at 80 kilos, would you? No. He got all his 80 kilos behind that one and sent it a little bit long. Becker, who made it to the third round, both of the Australian Open and the French Open this year, and had to pull out of that French Open third round with a, a shoulder pectoral muscle injury that kept him off court for a while. And that seemed to take the wind out of his sails a little bit. He was uh, lost then in the first round at Wimbledon and at the US Open. put away nice and smartly by uh, Dimitrov. Uh, you can feel all of his 80 kilos behind that one, can you? Yes. I just looked at some notes that Becker lives in Dallas. That's where his residence is now. He went to college in the United States, which I do believe is why he turned pro at the comparatively late age of 24. Yeah, here we go. Dimitrov with some varied yeah. serving there, but a comfortable hold in the end. And he leads 2-1 in the early stages of this third quarter-final. The winner of this match, which is in the top half of the draw, will go on to play either David Ferrer, the world number eight and number one seed here, or Mikhail Kukushkin. Six seeds out of eight making it through to the quarterfinals. One of those has just fallen. Well, two have fallen by the wayside because we've just had, in the bottom half of the draw, we had all seed matchups. Ivo Karlovic, the wild card and number three seed, Hi. falling to Nick Kyrgios, number seven seed. And then Vasek Pospisil, number eight seed, going out to Feliciano Lopez, who is number two in this tournament. Positioning on that serve. Good speed as well, 199 kilometers per hour. Yeah. 
Kirby forehand down the line went Becker. At <coughs> that and uh, the server, two, his, his two favorite shots. service game there for Becker. Junior. Efficient both on the first and the second service. Both players just dropped a couple of points thus far on their own service. Turn there off the forehand from uh, Dimitrov. It was a 17 shot rally. It looks as if he lost patience after a while and snatched at that last one. Solid serving though. 196 kilometers per hour. The one before that was 201. So he's certainly cranking that up. Missed it by that much. Yeah, that's a bit wild. That's brought up two break points for Benjamin Becker. Fifth, uh, fifth game of the first set. into these serves. A yeah, good point, but I think, um, I think Dimitrov was a little bit lucky, fortunate to get out of that. 30, he dug himself out of a hole, but it was a hole of his own making, yep. and he got out of it due to his prowess at the net, so full credit to him there. His decision-making probably left a little bit to be desired, but he managed to pull enough skill and guts out of the bag, but still break point.
This time it's a 19-shot rally, and again, Becker's going to be thinking yes. to himself that he had chances to take that break point there. This is a Dimitrov that we're seeing that really isn't playing at the, at the levels, the heights that he hit this time last year, for example. He's having to carry it off on guts at the moment. Game point now. Uh, uh, sorry, break point. Break point for Becker. I was asking about the lights. On the first two quarterfinals, we didn't see any break points in the opening sets. We've had three so far. Thirds the charm. He seemed to dig himself out of the hole once again, but great hitting, great depth from Becker pushed him way back. And there, when he had the backhand down the line that was open for him, he couldn't take it. Needed to probably put some topspin on that to get it over the highest part of the net. Well, Dimitrov doesn't have the moves like Grigor. He certainly had them last year. He seems to have lost them this year. Totally got out of a rhythm. Not sure what the problem is for Becker at the moment, but he's had a conversation with, <coughs> sorry, with Damian Steiner, um, but something higher up that's catching his eye. And uh, Steiner is on his walkie-talkie to the office. Um, Well, time has been called after two minutes. There'll be a change of ends. So, uh, if there was something at the one side of the court that was bothering Becker, it's not going to be an issue for the next two games, at least. Grigor Dimitrov is being bothered by other things at the moment, which is his own lack of consistency. looking to consolidate the break, serving at 3-2 up. Nice play there. Dimitrov picked it. You could see, he figured that uh, um, Becker was going to go down the line. And he's right there to cut it off. defence from Dimitrov but it's not enough Becker strides into the net and puts that one away without so much as blinking two big services in a row both of them 198 kilometres per hour
bit of a, a chance here for Dimitrov. He's got a bit of juice. And he's down a break in this first set. Pretty as that of a shot. He that pulled ball. it off at a big moment. He found himself 40 15 down. That's three points in a row he's won. And to be able to pull off a shot, that's a very gutsy shot. Died. There's a chance to break back in this first set now. Ball. Second serve he's going to face. Dimitrov. It's a very good service return, very powerful. Yep. But it was as if he thought, well, it's a second serve, I've really got to make the most of this, and snatched at the, the follow-up shot after that. Back to Juice. Wonderful decision making there from and Becker. Becker. Decided to wrong foot Dimitrov and did it to perfection. Both players looking very calm under pressure. Oh! What would you call that? A bit of a flick backhand? Well, Becker did everything right. A huge service down the middle, follows it up, puts it into the corner, and then it's almost a sneak attack by Baby Fed, wasn't it? <laughs> Just that little half volley. Yeah, great serve there. couple of dodgy moments in that service game for Becker but he's oh, held firm to hold serve and consolidate that break he picked up in the game before to lead uh, to lead 4-2 in this first set big big hold there took him six minutes a couple of juices Dimitrov now having a word as well there's obviously something on the one side of the court Damian Steiner getting onto the tournament officials some of these returns shots that should be just bread and butter shots for him just not timing them properly see just like that one and, and, and not moving his feet
better. There's more confidence in that shirt in that yeah. serve. Certainly negates the uh, lack of foot movement if you can come out with a first service like that. Still only 30 all though, and of course he's a break down in this first set. better service game there from the top of the trough. Way better. Uh, but, to me, uh, but Becker still up a break in the first set, 4-3. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to hit himself into form. He's, as you say, Craig, he's not really hitting his straps. He's uh, also having, perhaps, uh, it's not a medical timeout, but he's having uh, a few running repairs just in the two minutes that he has at the change of ends here. Perhaps suffering from a blister somewhere on the foot or the ankle on his right foot. He's going to have a, a plaster pot on there. But he seemed to be, yeah, you mentioned earlier, Craig, he's not really moving around as fluidly as we've come to expect from Dimitrov. He uh, spoiled us rather the last couple of seasons with some beautiful flowing play. Whereas for the last three or four months at least, he seems to be struggling to find a rhythm so he just has a plaster or two put on his feet here it's not a medical timeout so he's just got literally the two minutes I think, uh, the grief is yep and see the blisters right on there so he's had two of them two plasters put on already a third one going on and gripe gripe time go for it the gabriel gripe let's Why hear it do cameras have to hone in on feet you're not a foot fan. You don't you, you don't find feet as aesthetically pleasing, Craig. No, not at all. No. Especially mangled athletes' feet. <laughs> mangled athlete athletes' feet. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard of athletes' foot, yes. but here we have mangled <laughs> athletes' feet. Well, that's why we are concentrating on Benjamin Becker, who at the end of that last game was juggling the ball, showing some good Sorry. skills there. He's a fan of Erste FC Köln, the team from it's Cologne from Cologne where the O comes from Eau de Cologne and where a lot of famous beer comes from as well 4711 was the Eau de Cologne from Cologne ah there we go there we go and uh, his team made it back up into the top level of the Bundesliga a season or two ago they will be pleased about that and there we go two minutes to have Grigor's mangled feet, a little bit unmangled, much to the chagrin of Craig Gabriel. Yeah. And Becker yeah. serving with new balls in this game. Now the balls are changed every seven and nine games. Do you know why? Why it's nine or why it's seven and then nine? Why it's um, seven and then nine? Because the warm up, which we've griped. I was about to say, is that oh, the yeah. pass play? Is that the. Uh, <laughs> that is right. <laughs> but I'd say, because otherwise it'd be grope and we can't have that. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> we grope about that earlier. Yeah. We griped about the warm up earlier, uh, and that counts as two games. Yep, exactly right. Your service percentage is improving. <laughs> My trivia percentage is improving. Oh! A protection shot from Be uh, from uh, Dimitrov. And he wins the point in the bargain. He was protecting those mangled feet of his. Yes. That's why he doesn't do the sneak attack by Baby Roger. And have his feet taken off. Particularly with Becker firing them down at 
in excess of 200 kilometers per hour. That one a little bit long. of a turnaround. He's got it to 30 all on the Becker service. We'll see. I was thinking that very thing, but I wasn't going to put the kiss of death on it. Commentator's curse. Yes. Let's see if I have cursed poor Grigor. You've already insulted his mangled feet. <laughs> yes. Oh! He's trying to put his best foot forward. No. <laughs> his least bad foot forward. Size, there's no point challenging that one. It was indeed long. Yeah, yeah. Good ace there. Right into the T junction. 204 kilometers per hour, and that sees Becker take a 5 3 lead in this first set. As you were saying, Becker claims. Favorite shot is the serve, and his other favorite shot is a forehand. And so far, so far, he's been pr producing the goods on both sides, b both those shots rather, both uh, strokes. into the body jammed Dimitrov better service there from Dimitrov and a good aggressive follow up kilometers per hour that one but counts for naught and there we have the first double fault of the contest yeah. never a good time for a double fault no oh. but uh, let's make it three five fifteen thirty Scurried into the net there to put pressure on his opponent, and that worked. Drags it back to 30 all. Gets away with it after a good second service there. That's a couple of times from the, the juice side, the right-hand side of the court, that he's put in a very weak first service, Dimitrov. But now has a point to get it back to 4-5. Good inside out, cross-court forehand winner. Yes. Made the most of the net cord there that meant that Dimitrov had to take a step back and couldn't play the shot that he was intending to. Three five juice again serving from the juice court. And that was a lot more like it. Yes, absolutely. Totally agree with you. Well, but Becker is challenging it. To have a Year of Festivals 2015 challenge from Benjamin Becker. Well, 
That was, I think he should have two taken off him for that one. That didn't even clip the line. That was so far in. Forehand down the line there from Becker. Wonderful stuff. Walked into that shot. Once more with feeling. Back to Juice. variation there on what was the first oh, service yeah. after the original one had clipped the net so rather than trying for power went for spin took his opponent a little bit by surprise yes. this is turning into uh Quite a tussle this uh, this game. And considering the first couple of quarterfinals, we we barely had a juice, let alone break points in uh, in the first set. It was uh, all very much going with service right the way through to the tie break. Curled that one just inside the tee. 195 kilometers per hour as well. Another game point here for Dimitro. I think he should probably go into the body with this serve. Stop there from Dimitrov, he's hung on. Again, it's gutsy stuff from Becker. Ultimately doesn't get his reward. Remained very calm at the net there, did Dimitrov. And that hole there was a big one, obviously because it kept him in the first set. But the fact that he could actually prove that he was capable of holding there when it went to four juices. Breakdown already. Very important for him here. He sees a man struggling with his rhythm, even on service. A number of times it's, it's a let on the first service or he goes to second service. He's uh, struggling with his rhythm all round, but he's, he's not out of this first set yet. No, not, not at all. When I mean, you look at the service per first serve percentage, I mean, Becker is at just 57. Um, so he needs to lift that, and that, when it's as low as that, that should give Dimitrov a little bit of an opportunity, a couple of both things here and there, and, and he's really going to have to pounce on those if, if they do come and, 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 tr and try to keep Becker honest. Yes, Becker struggling a little bit with his first service percentage. Second serves... He's winning two points out of three on his second service. He's just had to face the one break point, which he saved. Ah! And here he is serving for the first set and gifted to a certain extent the first point there. There's a slice backhand from Dimitrov floats long. of a wild one. Does 
got a request for uh, some of the music at the changeovers. We've had a lot of uh, 80s stuff so far, so Wild One, Wild Child, Billy Idol. I have a word with the stadium DJ. Mm -hmm. Court to defend down the line to win, but that one was down the line and out from Dimitrov. Try for a bit too much on that one. Positioning for Dimitrov on that shot. Well, he has two set points for, for Becker, but Dimitrov was was face on. Um, you know, there was no, no no sort of rhythm with the way he was hitting that ball. Didn't turn side on. Footwork was wrong. Slapped at the ball. And Becker moves Dimitrov left and right. Waiting for the error to come. It does indeed come. And after 43 minutes, the first set is in the books. And it has gone the way of the German, the unseeded German, 34-year-old Benjamin Becker. 6-4. Got that break of service reasonably early on. Consolidated it, despite the fact that there, were, there was a break point against him. And we had a few epic struggles in a couple of games going to three or four juices. But Becker is the one who is on his game at the moment. He certainly doesn't have the full range of skills that someone like Dimitrov has got, but he is playing more consistently. Dimitrov struggling for rhythm, as he has been, well, ever since the, the season moved off the clay courts, really. He's, uh, he's been struggling for a, a good long while. Actually, um, well, he got knocked out in the first round of of the French Open, and since then it's uh, it's been going downhill slowly for Dimitrov, for a man of such talent that he's shown us over the years, well, over the last couple of years. Such a shame for him to to be struggling so much with his rhythm. Yeah, look, he, he was saying to me yesterday because again, like I did with, with Karlovich, um, sat down and did a. In an interview with with him with Grigor late last night, and, and he was. He, I said, "How would you describe this year?" And he said, "A bit rocky." Um, so there's been one thing or another that hasn't allowed him to produce the results. He feels that he's turning the corner. There's some confidence coming back, but then, you know, also you've got to remember professionally and personally, there have been changes in his life. Uh, he parted company with Roger Rashid, who has, had been his coach for a couple of years. You, he and Maria Sharapova also split up, and and you know all this, and, and he's having to do it in the public eye. So those sort of things do take their toll mentally. Well, if anyone can come back from a set adrift, Grigor Dimitrov can. He proved that in the second round here against 2013 winner Joel Souza. That's the first set 6-2, and then came back to win it in three. It's what he's going to have to do now against Benjamin Becker. Yeah, the thing is, I hope I haven't been the jinx. Because I sat down with both of them yesterday, or the two, two of the losers, Karlovich being one, and, uh, and, and now Dimitrov, who's, who's struggling. It's quite a skill you have there, Craig. Yeah, there you go. Did you speak to either Ferrer or Kukushkin? No. <laughs> At least the final quarterfinal is, uh, <laughs> is an open tie, therefore. Oh, 
202 kilometers per hour, that one. Straight down the middle. to start the next set with an easy service game. He's certainly cranking it up there as well. He was at 200 kilometers per hour on this last one and in excess of that earlier on on the ace, which we didn't see in the first set. Oh, look, Grigor's already out there to get ready to play on the change of ends. He didn't stop. Kept on walking. Anything you can do, I can do just as well, says Benjamin Becker. Fires that one down, right down the tee at 198 kilometers per hour. Good net coverage there from Dimitrov. Yeah, but also um, yeah, he needs to start putting some pressure on Becker, and and, it, and looked like he was doing that in that in that point. He's got to do it a lot more. As we saw in the first set that when he did scurry up to the net, then it would mm -hmm. nine times out of ten provoke a mistake from Becker. goes and does something like that. Which is what we've been saying for a while. Right. It's the inconsistently uh, inconsistency. He's been consistently inconsistent for a while. Or has he been consistently inconsistent? Ah, there's the rub. Even in his uh, second round win there, where he beat Jarl Souza, he, he came from behind, lost the first set, and he was 4-2 down in the third set as well. And Managed to break twice, hold twice.
Yeah, that was a bit of a wild, wild forehand from uh, Becker. saying earlier Craig is the, the, the positioning and the the movement of the body the the trunk and the shoulders not exactly just not turning we got to you know not getting down to the ball <laughs> takes a little bit off it there and curls that one right onto the tee a little bit off it, 193, still uh, a good pace. Oh. Oh. Becker strode in there and hit the cover off the ball on that. Uh, Slightly weaker service, 136 kilometers per hour. two punch it was the service out reasonably wide to the Becker backhand and that left him with a lot of space to go backhand down the line and put that one away so he keeps his nose in front in the second set obviously drop the first so the winner of this match will play whoever comes through the fourth and final quarter-final of the day, which will be on after this one. Pitting Mikhail Kukushkin yeah. up against David Ferrer, the world number eight and the number one seed here at the Malaysian Open. David has been a regular visitor to Kuala Lumpur. He's a regular visitor to a lot of places, isn't he? He plays yeah. a heck of a lot of tennis oh, with David are. Ferrer. The Bulgarian fans in the crowd desperately trying to get behind their favourites. A set down. We've seen before that that's not that much of a handicap to him. I wonder what Bulgarians would be doing in Malaysia. Many a nationality represented here. A Spanish flag earlier in the crowd well, yeah, for Feliciano Lopez. Sure, I can sort of understand that a little bit more, but. Be um, Dimitrov going right at Becker. Dimitrov is to get back into this match. He's going to have to do it all by himself. I don't think Benjamin Becker is going to give him any free points. Oh! Watch him double fault now. <laughs> Benjamin for crying out loud. <laughs> he, 
<laughs> you just get that sense when it's going to happen, don't you? <laughs> oh, I apologize to all of Benjamin Becker's fans. Very old. Jinx. You are so I bad. Uh, I'm, I'm in trouble here. Yes, you are. That was in. I think that was in. We're having a year of festivals 2015 challenge, and that indeed was flush on the line. And it's endless celebrations. This is as far as I'm concerned. No, we do have a break point for Dimitrov. Well, all it took was me saying that yeah. there will be no free points and then a double fault, an overturn challenge and then a forehand that goes long way past the baseline and it's Dimitrov who has his nose in front serving at 3-1 up in the second set. So your commentator's curse is when you sit down with the uh, players and interview them. Mm -hmm. I just come straight out with it on my own. You just bring out the voodoo dolls. <laughs> exactly. Bad juju. And it's working against Benjamin Becker at the moment. He hasn't won a point since I uh, said that he wasn't going to give any away. One way traffic. Boom, 195 kilometers per hour. Dimitrov with a bit between his teeth now. Oh, a couple of good aces there. Sizzling return from Becker, going cross court inside out. Huge service and a huge service game there from Grigor Dimitrov. And he has turned this around in the space of about three minutes. He's gone from 15.30 down to breaking and holding. And so, drop the first set, but he's 4-1 to the good in the second. It's gonna have done him some good mentally as well, that will. Oh, for sure. And you break and then you hold serve pretty con convincingly. It's certainly gonna help you mentally, with, give you a little bit of a confidence boost. He's a man who knows he's got every trick in the book, all the shots, but it's obviously so much a confidence thing at the moment. We saw that against a player like Souza, where he lost the first set, was 4-2 down in the third and dragged it back. Even when you know you're not playing your best tennis, yeah. obviously, I say it's a, it's a mental thing. Obviously, any sport is a, is a mental thing as well, as we can see. Becker here telling himself, trying to get himself back into a rhythm and sort of coach himself as to what he's doing wrong and what he needs to do. But Dimitrov in particular, the fact that he's struggling so much for confidence as well. 
every every break is, is going to seem like a mini event to him. 1-4, Becker in the second set. As we enter the second hour of tennis. The better you are, the more skillful you are, the more frustrating it is when you make an unforced error like that. You can see Dimitrov telling himself exactly what he should have done, where he should have been standing. This be another opportunity here for, for Dimitrov for a, a double break. I mean, I know he's still, um, you've got Beck with the game point, but maybe Dimitrov is creeping back into this game. Great idea, Dimitrov. But I think smothered that ball, came over too, came over the top too much, um, and as a result, it struggled to get to the net. He found himself on the back foot, and he had been for the last two or three shots on his side of that rally, and decided to take matters into his own hands and see if he could just curl it low over the net. It didn't quite come off, so a hold for Becker, 2-4. Big service game for Dimitrov coming up. New balls. A good way to start with a lovely service winner yeah. from Dimitrov. everything off that second service but curled it away from the the service box second double fault for Dimitrov Beck is also on two oh. heavy hitting there from, from uh, Becker Better movement, though, from Dimitrov. He uh, went forehand down the line, inside out, forehand as well, backed off and gave himself a bit of room to go down the line. That's better. I think he thought about challenging that, Becker, but it was too late. He's uh, having a wistful look now where the service landed. It did look a tad long, but if you're going to make a challenge, it has to be done in a timely fashion, as we said earlier. And you can't return and then and then challenge afterwards. Oh. No doubt about that one. But two game points for Dimitrov. Oh. 
5-2 Dimitrov. Again, took a lot off the second service there, but find it in at the body, at the head, almost, of Benjamin Becker. Kicked up at him, and Becker, to all he could do to chop it into the net. So Dimitrov with a little bit of impetus here. It's been a pretty fast-moving second set, this one, only 23 minutes thus far. 5-2 to Dimitrov after a, a first set that was laboured, to say the least. Becker outlasting Dimitrov in that first one, waiting for his Bulgarian opponent to commit unforced errors, which he did. Second set since that break. Dimitrov getting his nose in front. Now up to Becker to serve, 2-5. Serving to stay in the set. If he does that, he's going to have to break to stay in the set. Showing no signs of pressure, fires that one straight down the middle. It is indeed. Oh, it's called in. We are going to have a Malaysia, truly Asia challenge. Ooh. In, and it clipped the line by the tightest of margins. follow up great service out wide and then putting it into the opposite corner for the one two punch <laughs> Pecker wasn't going to make any mistake with that overhead Again, sending Dimitrov hither and thither, one corner to the other. Again, we go from 40-15 to juice on the Becker service. Wow. Gutsy stuff. He painted the line with the forehand before that sent Dimitrov back, and then that inside-out cross-court. He likes that shot. Reckon? Yeah. Gutsy hold, 40-15 back to Juice, but then manages to hold this service and he's going to force Dimitrov 
to serve this one out. Seemed a little bit passive on that point there, Dimitrov. Yes. He was not, not really dancing around the baseline, getting himself into the right position. Seemed to be strolling towards the shots and then put that backhand into the net. some of these returns down the line. And again, he was sort of out of position for that back end. He, he dumps into the bottom of the net. Door is slightly ajar for Becker here. he could do about that one. Yeah, wonderful cross-court forehand from Dimitrov. His movement was a lot better there, going inside out and slamming that one left to right. 30 all. Still a little bit of a nervous moment. 40, 30. He's had a couple of challenges already in this set. Has Benjamin Becker? This, if it isn't in, well, it's in. So that's the third and final one gone. The third time wasn't the charm. And it is set point for Grigor Dimitrov. I'm just wondering if it, if it would have been worth a challenge. He's going the whole hog on the baby fed. He obviously doesn't like challenges either. <laughs> like his mentor, Roger. Juice. No doubt about that one. Set up set point number two. Absolutely luscious forehands there yes. from Becker. Two set points come and gone. The third juice. Ooh, 
Well played Becker, but I thought I thought I think Dimitrov did as well. Yes. I mean he was right over that. I'm surprised. Uh, it, it's a gutsy didn't. call that that uh, juice uh to stop play and say I reckon yes. that was out because if it was in, then sure. you've handed the point to your opponent. But break point Becker. Break back point Becker. Yeah. How about that? We've Five had that two. very gutsy hold no, from Becker fine. beforehand where he was taken to juice and managed to hold with a couple of big services and good forehands. And then we see the value of it, the value of fighting for every point for every service game, even when you're behind. He manages to conjure the break back out of nothing. Fine margins as well. We've seen him go for three reviews, none of which was successful. But this one, this one really was a tight one there, but he managed to do it. We're going to take a very quick break now. Welcome back, and welcome back, Benjamin Becker. He is back with a vengeance in this second set. Dimitrov served for the second set, was broken, and now Becker is going to attempt to fire down four of those and to level it at five all. Huge opportunity here for Becker. A couple of service holds and he can take it to a tie break and, and take his chances there. Oh. Needs to hold first of all though. Of course it's another chance for Dimitrov. He's just served for the set and couldn't do it. Maybe he can break for the set, 15 all. You think he wanted to put that away? Maybe he can break for the set. 18, 13. Beautiful there, never blinked. 15, 30. Two points away. point here. A couple of break points, a couple of set points. That one looked very close to the line, but it was flush on it. This one, just long. I reckon Becker would have challenged that one if he'd have had any challenges left, but he doesn't. Two set points for Dimitrov. Two more.
Well, that would have had everything. I think Dimitrov thought he'd won that point about three times over, and in the end, he thought, well, I might as well go for it and see if I can win the set with a tweener. Well, yes, absolutely. I mean, there's such a lot of court coverage over here, such desperate shots being played. Absolutely, uh, you know, everything in that point really was. It was great stuff. The crowd absolutely loved it, but I'm sure that Grigor Dimitrov was not too happy. Second set point for Dimitrov, fourth overall. Yeah, it's a great serve from Becker to save that set point. Yes. Gutsy stuff from Becker from 1540 back to Juice. Gutsy German. Oh, there's a shank, a major shank, and here's a point to level the second uh, set of five all with Becker. It's, it's a beautiful backhand when it's on song, but yeah. when it's not, he seems to have fallen in love with wanting to, to play those pure winners off the backhand, and they're not coming off at the moment. Yeah. Well, Benjamin Becker, I take my hat off to you. There's no doubt about it. I totally agree with you. He's really held on. Could, he could easily have gone away in that set. From 15.40 to a hold. And now the pressure is heaped on Dimitrov's shoulders from 2.5 to 5 all. Yeah. Pressure, what pressure? Cute little service into the corner, 172. Serena knows about pressure. <laughs> well, Dimitrov is certainly handling it. Or has been for the last minute or so. He definitely blinked in the last game, in the last couple of games. Okay. Well, that's two in a row from the juice court where he's curled them away from the forehand side of Becker. Very cleverly done. Eighth ace, three game points. Do that five minutes ago. Well, you just beat me to it. That's exactly what I was going to say. And if we knew that, and if he knew that, and if they all knew that, then it would be a very boring game, Tennis Wood. We've gone from 5 2 to 5 all. And then the easiest, the, the most straightforward of holds there for Dimitrov. So once again, Becker is going to have to serve to stay in the set. He's done it twice already. He knows that if he does it this time around, then there is a tie break. And then all he has to do is win seven points and he will be in the semi-final. That's all. Simple as that. Straightforward stuff. We have another quarter-final to come after this one. It was scheduled for 8.30, but it's obviously not going to be starting on time. And that one will see Mikhail Kukushkin Aye. take on the number one seed and world number eight, David Ferrer. Now, do you reckon? I'm not going to say anything. Yeah. He's, he's, he's going to double fault <laughs> again as soon as I open my <laughs> mouth, he double faults. He's going to do that jinx bit again. Is he going to break and close out this set? German fans watching on the world feed going, Halt die Klappe, shut up, Lily. Keep quiet. There we go. Und don't jinx, Gabriel. Exactly. Oh. Muted response from the crowd. You know, you were saying earlier that... Uh, 
Dimitrov tends to get the crowd on his side. He's a, an affable sort of player and a very aesthetically pleasing player as well. Whoa! They'd like to see a third set and they'd like to see, I'm sure, Dimitrov show some of the skills that we know he's capable of. He's definitely going for his shots, but just mistiming. It is really a, a case of trying to hit yourself into form, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I think, and I, I put this to him the other, last night. I said, do you find that maybe you're just pushing a little bit too much? Ace oh, down the tee, 201 kilometers per hour. Three game points, three points for a tie break. This is as good as a mile, and so we will indeed have a tiebreaker. Had a tiebreaker. We had a couple of them in the uh, tiebreaker in every match so far. Exactly. Four of them played all together so far today. Well, this is the fourth. Dimitrov with one point to open it. was a lunging uh, volley there from wow. Dimitrov. As you say, pushing it, going for his shots, playing the high percentage tennis, rushing into the net and certainly stretching there. And it pays off. Good news for Becker is that he has one more challenge. Having used up all three during the set, he gets one more. Side out forehand to the Dimitrov backhand. Dimitrov did the right thing. Nine yeah. times out of ten, it would have been the right thing to leave that. But yeah. what a shot that was! <laughs> Absolutely amazing shot there. Talk about going for your shots, and that is the mini break. For those of you who are not the most regular viewers of tennis, we're into a tie break now, so it's first to seven, two points clear, alternating every two services. Excellent recovery shot there from the baseline. Played it almost from behind his body, but right at the feet of Dimitrov. And that set up the lob, which he enjoyed. The mini break is back, back on service at two all. points thus far, three of them won against service.
Real. It's like a little bit of frustration for, um, for, for, for Dimitrov. Well, the second service was was there almost for the taking. He took a heck of a lot off it. Did uh, did Becker? And rather than changing ends at four-two, it's three-all. Correct what I said earlier, it's just two points, one against service, but a mini break up and then a mini break back. Becker with one more service from the other end. Big, big, big hitting from Benjamin Becker. Three points away now from a semi-final berth. from uh, Dimitrov, he's uh, had his chances, three. he's had set points in the second set, Maybe. wasn't able to convert them, they're four set points, and now Becker just two points away from a spot in the semi-finals. Well, absolutely fired down on the backhand. He saw Dimitrov three, in at the net, three. decided to go for his shots, Becker. and it pays off three match points for Benjamin Becker. This one again, I am amazed that there was no challenge. It was a good job he stepped in for me there, Craig. I think everyone expected a challenge. I certainly did. Nothing came from Dimitrov. Off he goes. And it's yet another frustrating evening for Dimitrov. The number four seed is out. But let us take nothing away from today's winner, 6-4, 7-6 having saved two set points in the process, four set points in fact in total. Benjamin Becker, the 34-year-old, what a performance from him. An hour and 35 is the match, and this is Becker's first semi-final since Tokyo last year, so it's been one year since he was in the semi-finals of a tour-level event.